Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an advanced time sheet for billable hours. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful advanced time sheet to capture the employees billable hours. On the top section, we are showing some charts like billable hours by project. So this is total billable hours in the center and then by project. And here we are showing the billable hours by employee name. This is billable hours by task and this is billable hours by date. So we have created this to capture the one month data at a time, but you can capture the more data if you want. And here we have this table. In this table, we have all information, the ID, which is the unique ID of the record, then the date, employee name, project, task, start time, end time, break duration. And then we are calculating the billable hours. To enter the new record at the bottom, we have given this plus button. Just click on this. This employee timesheet form will be opened. And here you can just select the name of the employee, the project and the task. These all drop down list are customizable. I will show you. And here by default, it will take the today's date, but you can change it using this calendar. Let's say I'm taking any date from the July 12th July start time you can select here start time let's say 10 a.m end time i'm just putting here 7 p.m break time i'm putting one hour just submit as i submit you can see a new record of 12 july okay here all information is appearing now if i come here everything will be changed and we can see a new record of the 12 July here also okay on the chart now to create the timesheet in proper format you can use the timesheet template here in the timesheet template we have two input field one is you need to select the employee name so just select from this drop down and you need to enter the first date of the month so if you enter let's say first August then everything is blank if I change the employee name, we have only one record. It is appearing here or you can select this one. Okay. So ju you just need to enter the first date of the month. So I'm putting here first July. Now you can take the printout of this. Just press control P. It will fit in the page. So for any employee, if you want to take the printout, you can take it. And we have put some automation also. You just need to enter a folder path here. So as you are seeing, this folder is blank. Now let me come to this one and we want to create the time sheet in Excel for the current employee. Current employee means the selected employee. Okay. And you have to enter the date. Just click on this button. As you click automatically, it will create the time sheet into that folder. Here you can see with the name of the employee and it is available here if you want to create for all employee simply you can just click on this excel it will start creating for all other employees which you have defined in your data all right so we have three employees now it has created three files here you can see all excel file if i open any of the excel file let me show you okay so this is the excel file which was saved okay let me close this and similarly, we can create the PDF also. Let me delete these file first. And let's click on this PDF. So it will create the PDF for the current employee. We can see here. Okay, so this is the PDF for current employee. And if you want to create for all employee, you can just click on this button, all employee PDF. Okay, it's done. Now we can quickly see that. So we have all three PDFs here. Let's open any one and let me show you. So this PDF is appearing here in this format. At bottom, we have the totals also. All right, friends. Now quickly, I will show you the coding and the other thing here. So first, you need to enter the all employees and the supervisor and what are the regular hours like eight hours, seven hours. Okay, so that we will calculate the overtime also. And here you can enter the project name and the task name. By default, we have put the shift 
after every 30 minutes, but you can change it as per your requirement. Okay, so these are the setting sheet or the list sheet which you have to create first. Now in the time sheet here we have created the simple table. On the top we have created these pivot charts. So we have a support sheet. From the time sheet we have created these pivot tables and from these pivot tables we have created these charts. Alright friends. And to create this form let me show you the coding also for this form. Let's go to the developer tab and visual basic and you can simply go to the this form. Just double click on the form. On the user form initialize we have put this code. Basically we are creating the list from the list sheet for the combo box one employee name list then project list task list start time end time and by default date we are putting today okay then we are putting some coding on the submit button also and in the submit button if you see we are putting some validation first like combo box one which is employee name should not be blank project should not be blank task should not be blank and these some other things also then we will input the data on the time sheet and we are defining i row as long so i row is the number of row wherein we will input the data we are using this form to update as well as to add a new record so let me show you how you can add and update a new record so what we are doing if the txt underscore id which is this text box when we will update a record then we will put the record id here in this box and if we will enter a new record then this will be a blank so this is what we are checking here if this text box is not blank then we are updating this then the value of this text box will be the id and we are matching using the match function at which row this id is available that will be i row in case of the new whatever is the last row we are adding plus one there that will be our i row and we are entering the id also here using this code and protect this worksheet and then we are putting this information there like employee name and the other information in the last we are putting this formula to calculate the billable hours you can see this on the sheet also this one this is the formula which we are inputting there then it will enter the normal start date and start time so we are adding the date here so this is what we are doing here adding the date in the time and then we are formatting this in the last we are using the command button 2 underscore click command button 2 is the reset button this one we are resetting the form all boxes are blank default date and txt id also blank all right friend and the last thing is this one the change event on this okay as we enter anything there in that box any id it will fill whole form according to this id and we'll take the data from this sheet okay so what we are doing if i click here and here then it will fill all the information so let's say for this record number three i, I want to change the project as project b i can just submit this now if i see the row id 3 the project is project b now all right friends so you can update any record and if you want to delete the record simply select that and you can just click on that and that record will be deleted I will show you that code also so let's come to this module one here add record is basically just to show the time sheet form and delete record is just it is checking whether you have selected proper id or not you have to select that id column then from the active cell it is deleting entire row all right friend in case of the update again it is checking the id and if you find the id then it is showing that form this one and for the txt id it is putting the id here in this box okay so this is what we are doing here now in the second module we have created four sub procedures current employee excel which is for this button okay the first current employee excel so here we are taking few variables and we are setting this sheet time sheet template First of all, we are copying this data, the whole data, okay, and we are adding a new workbook and on the new worksheet, we are pasting all data and we are removing the formulas then, removing the grid lines and then we are setting this folder path. So folder path is this cell. So here you have to enter a folder path of your desktop folder or any other folder wherever you want to create these files. Then we are saving 
that file into that folder and closing the file okay this is what we are doing for doing the current pdf for the current employee it is almost same the only thing is rather than copying and pasting to the new workbook we are not using the new workbook here we are simply selecting that range and export as fixed format which is excel type pdf and this is the path and file name all right friend and similarly for all excel this is the same activity we just have put a loop here on the list sheet so if you see on the list sheet we have the name of the employee so we have put a loop here and one by one we are changing the name here using the code and then we are repeating the same activity so we are just changing this name and this is the same code which we have put for the current employee and then here we are closing the loop and similarly the same thing we are doing for the all employee pdf whatever we have done for the single employee pdf we are just changing the name here this one inside the loop and then we are running the same code so friends then these are the macros which we have assigned into these button and this is add update and delete macros we have assigned here and that is how we have created this advanced time sheet for billable hours you can use this for your office work friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching